Contrary to what you may think, ethanol isn't anything new. Ironically, it was ethanol that fueled Henry Ford's early Model T, the first flexible fuel vehicle. And Ford might be surprised that after a hundred years, ethanol is in the alternative fuel category. Critics question, is ethanol really environmentally friendly? To grow the corn and convert it to ethanol requires nitrogen for fertilizer and diesel equipment on the farms, as well as natural gas at the processing plant. Some experts estimate that it takes one gallon of fossil fuel to produce 1.3 gallons of ethanol. Still, there are already nearly six million flexible fuel vehicles traveling America's roads. They're called flexible because these cars are able to use either unleaded gasoline or the current ethanol standard, E85. E85 releases 80% less carcinogens, such as benzene, into the air than unleaded gasoline. In 2006, ethanol use in the U.S. reduced CO2 equivalent greenhouse gas emissions by approximately 8 million tons. That's equal to removing the annual emissions of more than 1.2 million cars. But is there enough corn to feed us and fuel our cars? We're not going to run out of corn. We have plenty of corn to go around, and if we start running out of corn, the price will go up and farmers will plant more acres to corn. Detractors, however, point out that this will mean less acreage available for other crops. Nevertheless, the corn ethanol story has an extremely useful co-product. Dried distiller's grains are the portions of corn that can't be fermented, but they contain highly valued nutrients for livestock. This is where we actually process the distiller's grain and dry the distiller's grain out. The solids come out into a conveying system that takes us through two big rotary drum dryers where we remove all but 10% of the water. So we have a 90% dry solid product. You can see this, this is a mixture of protein, fiber, and oil. This is what the animals want. This has always been viewed probably prior to this industry as a waste product, but now it's just a viable product that we use in the feed industry. It takes a mere 65 hours to both process a kernel of corn into ethanol and ready it for shipping by rail. And it only took about 100 days for the corn to grow.